Free compounds. Compounds in the English language are formed in various ways. The commonest of the English compounds are those in which two nouns are joined together. In such compounds, the second element expresses a general meaning, which is modified or limited by the first. Thus, rail and way equals railway is a way formed by rails. Way which carries the general meaning is limited by the word rail. Other examples include table lamp, apple tree, weekend, pocket money, so and so forth. These are free compounds in which the two parts can be isolated, and each part is felt as independent and of equal weight with the other. These compounds are free in the sense that whenever the need arises, anybody can form a new compound by placing two independent words of nearly any part of speech side. Even with free compounds, we may have long strings of words like railway refreshment room, waste paper basket. New Year Eve, Fancy Dress Ball, Republic Day Parade, so on and so forth. Fixed compounds. Some fixed compounds have been formed in which the two parts of the compounds have been fixed, and one part cannot be separated from the other. For example, the word daisy was originally formed by joining together two words, days and I. This later became fixed as Daisy. Another example would be the word nostril. Nostril was originally formed by joining together two words, Old English nas and thyral. This later became fixed as nostril. So, no one nowadays thinks of Daisy and nostril as compounds of days I and nas thyral. So. The one part cannot be separated from the other. These compounds are felt as independent units, isolated from the component parts both in sound and meaning. These compounds are called fixed compounds.